Yeah, you now rocking with Spank yeah. Just Business and StrictlyHipHop.com. Live as shit. Oh, can you feel me? Can you feel me? Definitely sensation. Yeah. <laughs> This is StrictlyHipHop.com. I am Jaida Coles, and I am sitting here with a man who has been grinding and chasing his dreams since he came into this world. He is the most consistent and relevant artist out of his borough right now. I'm sitting here with Spank Just Business. Yes, yes. What's up, Spank? What's going on? How, How you, you doing, doing? Jaida? Well. What's up? Very well. That's what's up. First off, I want to congratulate you on your success. Yes. Your recent success. You've Thank been getting you. a lot of good looks lately. Thank you. You started out with basketball dreams. Tell me about your hoop dreams. I felt like, you know, I was always going to make it to the end. And, you know, once I left high school or whatever, I was like, you know, I gave up the dream really like, yo, whatever. I started pursuing rap. In 2003, you dropped your first mixtape. You talking about the one with Nels? Yeah, the one with Nels. Oh, the one with Nels was called Welcome to My Hood. I wasn't really in the business side of that at, at that point. I was just rapping. Mm -hmm. All I know is that my music ended up on Hot 9. And that's what counts. You feel what I'm that saying? Was... But I was just rapping. I was a young rapping like, oh, snap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. whatever happened, whatever, you know? And ever since then, you had a relationship with Hot 97. Mm -hmm. You just had the opportunity to be on Who's Next 2014 yes, yes. edition. It sucks. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. John Connor, you know, rest in peace to his fam. Most of the time, family is more important than anything, you well, know? So yeah. it's like he got to handle that. And when he's ready, they're going to put it back together. Until then, we're going to keep grinding. Now, there was some controversy when Who's Next was selected. Some Staten Island rappers felt that, you know, maybe you didn't deserve it, they deserved it. Somebody in particular, he actually even went as far as to contact and call it Hustle. Now, how, what are your thoughts on that? Shouts to the island niggas that's working, my nigga. You heard, like, I don't knock niggas, but I just know that, like, if I go here, I know niggas gonna go there. And it's like, you know, sometimes y'all niggas just gotta do your own thing. That's what got me out there. I was always doing my own thing. I don't sound like nobody, and I don't try to be nobody that I'm not. But, you know what I'm saying? I've been, on, I've been out on this island. Like, this is my city. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, who better, though? Who better? Like, for real. Like, who better to get the who's next right now? Like, who got more criteria or anything than me right now on the island shaking it up on the level that I'm shaking it up on? Not no cocky shit. Shouts to Mac Wilds. Many people call Staten Island a city full of crabs in a bucket. You know how it is out here. It's nasty out here. And if you're yeah. not from Staten Island and you're watching this, it's true. Staten Island is a small island mm -hmm. filled with haters. And it's just nasty out here, period. Like, not even sugarcoating it, period. So you would agree. Yeah. Ha have you been getting a lot of support? Yeah, I've been getting a lot of support. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to front. Like, Staten Island definitely was. Like, I, niggas were saying it was a crab in the barrel shit. Like, I see that. I see that mentality out here definitely. a lot. But at the same time, I also see that niggas don't be having nothing real to support. That's why it's like that. Mm -hmm. And then it's like when it, when something's real around, they gonna support it. You know, it was certain steps that I took that made me get to where I'm at. You feel what I'm saying? It's not about me rapping the hardest or putting in the most twerk. It's like, nigga, I make these moves. You dig what I'm saying? That's why I'm here. Yeah. You dig? Like, and niggas can't respect. take that from me. Niggas can't take nothing from me. Real rap. Right. Let's talk about your Ebro interview. Now, okay. that was a wonderful look. Nobody's getting yep. interviewed by Ebro. That's a great look. You had a relationship with them for a long time. Now, the freestyle. Yeah. The freestyle's been so much controversy. People yeah. saying you dropped the ball. <laughs> People saying he went he, he went all of that for nothing. Me and Ebro's um, relationship is like this, my nigga. Like, Ebro, he just wants me to be the best. I guess that's what he says. Him and my nigga Launch, you know what I mean? Shouts to Launch. Mm -hmm. They want me to be the best. So, you know, everybody's expecting me to go up there and pull a hot box like yo spank and it's like my nigga when i grew up my nigga and i was listening to certain niggas like eminem and them niggas was always on some yo i'm straight off the top with it and even if they did spit a written it's like they'll switch it up it's like you know it's like you can't just go up there and just be on some yo i'm gonna spit a written niggas will fry you anyway most of those comments and shit like that be bought comments because at the end of the day there's not a lot of haters out there like that, my nigga. It's like a lot of I niggas mean, like hip hop. Right Hold up. Now. A lot of niggas like hip hop straight off the top. And they like that real hip hop shit. You feel me? So it's like Ebro on the morning show. Okay. Do you have real hip hop fans or do you have haters? You dig what I'm saying? It's like, answer that question. I'm really putting this twerking. That's why Ebro asked me to come up there. You dig what I'm saying? Because he had to. He said, yeah. yo, you think it's going to be a next time? 
Yeah, it's gonna be a next house because, because he feel like you tanked with the yeah, freestyle. And you no, he said no. He said that because he feel like yo, Spank, you being so so cocky with it, like you think niggas gonna fuck with you. And I'm like, yeah, my nigga, because I got this far by being me. So ain't nobody gonna change me. And he smiled when my con- when he seen my confidence. I'm a good nigga. I, yo, real rap, I take good constructive criticism. You have to. Y'all want me to go harder? I'm going to go harder. But at the end of the day, I felt like the ghost of Big was in me that day. And like I said, a lot of shit going to get me in trouble. But this is how I feel. My name is Spank. Remember that. Yeah, Shouts to Ebro, though. Ebro, you know what it is. You my nigga, though. Shouts to Ebro. Good looking for that morning show shit. Because he, he taught me some shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Shouts to Ebro. Shouts to um Ron Stu for retweeting that from Atlantic, man. Shouts to Bird, man. Shouts to everybody that's fucking with your boy right now, man. Your boy definitely got it. That's a fact. Y'all go on the Instagram and find me at Spank Just Business. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they're going to put it on the name. Y'all going to put it on the name? Of course. All right, yeah. So they're going to put it right on now. the name. Pardon me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're going to put it under me. Y'all go follow that on Instagram. Follow the fan page. Follow everything. And, um... Y'all just fuck with me. I got the single Can You Feel It on iTunes and every other fucking major distribution. You know what I'm saying? Like, everywhere. It's everywhere. And I did it myself. Facts. It's out there. Can You Feel It? Go purchase that. Facts. Strictly Hip Hop. Strictly Hip Hop. Shouts to my nigga Shot too. You already.